Meghan Markle, Harry likes fancy dress more than Archie. The Duchess of Sussex has revealed two-year-old son Archie is not as big a fan of fancy dress as his mum and dad. In her latest TV interview, Meghan tells Ellen DeGeneres that Harry had to persuade Archie to put on his Halloween outfit, but she and the Duke once snuck out in theirs for an incognito night out. Meghan revealed, we wanted to do something fun for the kids, for Halloween, and then the kids were just not into it at all. Archie was a dinosaur for maybe five minutes. Ellen, who is a family friend, witnessed it and said, finally Harry talked him into putting the head on. Recalling her days of courting with the Duke, Meghan, 40, said, he came to see me in Toronto and our friends and his cousin Eugenie and now her husband Jack, they came as well. And the four of us snuck out in Halloween costumes to just have one fun night on the town before it was out in the world that we were a couple. Meghan also detailed daughter Lilibet's teething troubles and told how the five-month-old tot was dressed as a little skunk-like flower from Bambi on Halloween. Turning to her children's book The Bench, she said she wanted to include the softer sign of masculinity, inspired by how Harry, 37, plays with his children. When Ellen asked whether her son realized he features in the tale, she replied, he does. On that first page you open and see our dogs, he goes, that's Pula. That's Guy. Ellen, 63, who lives near the family in Montecito, California. Ask what the couple like about living in the U.S., Megan answers, we're just happy. The TV special was screened last night, eight months after the Sussex's controversial sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. It was one of Ellen's last star name interviews, her series ends in the spring after a string of toxic behind-the-scenes claims. The TV special was screened last night, eight months after the Sussex's controversial sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. It was one of Ellen's last star name interviews, her series ends in the spring after a string of toxic behind-the-scenes claims.